but sleep is not for you. Hear me. Gather. The reckoning is upon us. The city thirsts for domination. March. Join. your way to the portal. I need your help. Quickly. Shrapped. I can't do this without you. We can do a little bit of a, a little cheeky bit of a... I can just do a short rest right now if I want. That's kind of silly. Oh, I should have summoned my elemental. Wits and blades always sharp. Trust me. You need my expertise. Yep, I thought that was going to happen. Holy moly. Water is like the best one I could have used, but by my oath. Hello? My oh, man. You can tell. Oh, you can. Oh. So you can teleport. Just teleport over. It's not over. Come to the skull. Light on my feet.
danger. The Githyanki is the source of our protection against the Absolute. I must subdue him, or everything we've worked towards is lost. Don't let my form deceive you. I am the one that's been protecting you. I am the one that came to you in your dreams. Help me. You saved the Asuma Night Song from her soul cage. You let me live last time you were here, though it brought Blackheath's wrath upon you. Your continued existence as yourself and not a mind flayer should be all the proof. Now, help me! The guard. Destroy the guard. They prevent me from subduing their master. Do it now! Together, we can turn the tide. Oh, I can't reapply my hunter's mark now. Okay, you are you are the strongest one, so I probably should not attack you first. Destroy the order. We can actually mouse over Orpheus over there and see that it is in fact Orpheus. Oh, you actually stunned them. Normally that fails. <laughs> Slayer form is a bonus action. I don't know if I can still concentrate while I'm in Slayer form. Though. I guess we'll figure it out. I guess I don't discriminate. Holy crap. I basically killed her. Wow, Anthari is nuts. My help, bro. Look at me like that. I am a mind flayer. Yes. Without me, you would be a slave to the absolute. Of all the things to be indebted to, a bloody mind flayer. If I'd known you would be so open minded, I would have saved myself a lot of effort. But I'm glad you're not here to judge. It's like I said before I'm just like you. But put some tentacles. An adventurer. I came from Baldur's Gate, though I was never one to be constrained by circumstance. I longed for more. That longing brought me to Moonrise Towers on a search for treasure. To a colony of Mind Flayers who caught me, changed me into what I am now. I served the Elder Brain, the one you know 
as the Absolute. I was a thrall like any other, but I was fortunate. I broke free and started a new life in my old city. I sustained myself on criminals. Unglamorous, but there are plenty of them. Rarely missed. And they fueled me while I did my work. I had the good fortune to meet Duke Stillmane. We formed a partnership, and through her, I became the governing force behind the Knights of the Shield. The largest mercantile operation in Baldur's Gate. People referred to me as the Emperor. Such was my influence. Though of course they had no idea what I really was. My needs were sated. I was happy for a while. Until my true nature was discovered by the tyrant himself, Lord Gortash. He tore me from my home and brought me back to the brain, where I became a slave once again. A slave he continued to call me Emperor. The name was intended as a slight, to remind me of the heights from which I fell. But I have grown fond of it. It encapsulates well who I've become. Indeed. His hubris knows no bounds. To enslave me, that was his nature. But to enslave an elder brain, a questionable decision. I shall look forward to sharing his downfall with you. Prince Orpheus, son of the first leader of the Githyanki. His power has been the source of your continued protection against the voice of the Absolute. The power to disrupt Hive Mind Communication. It is the same power that enabled Orpheus' his mother to bring about the fall of the Illithid Empire eons ago. A power she passed on to him, and that I leveraged for you. When Orpheus' his mother left, a usurper took her place. Vlakith declared herself Queen of the Githyanki. Vlakith wanted his power, but Orpheus rose against her, and so she sealed him and his honor guard within this prison. Bound by infernal chains, Orpheus could never leave. Bound by duty, his guard never would. They were close to breaking my hold on that prince. And if they had succeeded, we would be lost. I am relieved. You have embraced your potential enough that you could help me eliminate them. Alone, Orpheus will be much easier to control. I feel like if we had Lazelle in here, she'd have some dialogue. Most certainly Orpheus. He is a threat to her reign. Some Githyanki still revere him in defiance of their teachings. Blackith was safe as long as they believed him to be dead. But as you can see, he is very much alive. She kept him this way because she was reluctant to eradicate such power. Power that she might one day wish to take from him. If the Githyanki ever find out what she has done, there will be civil war. Blacketh will be finished. No. Gortash sent me on a mission to retrieve the Astral Prism. I was one of many, but the first to find it. How Gortash or the other Chosen learned of its existence, I do not know. The moment I found it, I felt a change. My free will returning. I followed the feeling inside. And found Orpheus. I realized what the prism was for. Containment. While my body was within the prism's bounds, my mind was free. I could resist the Elder Brain, the Chosen. Better yet, I could plan to overthrow them. All I needed to do was subdue Orpheus, and find allies in the outer world. You. There may come a time when that is necessary, but there is no guarantee that his power would survive his passing. The risk is too great. The moment his protection is gone, you would become enthralled 
to the Elder Brain, just as I would. We may look different, but to the Elder Brain, we are already the same. Thrawns in its design. I appreciate that, but this is what I am. My original body was destroyed when I transformed. When I first escaped the Elder Brain, I searched for a new vessel. But the longer I inhabited this one, the more it grew on me. I realized that returning to my former self would only impose limitations. Any advantage I could gain by restoring my original appearance, I already had to hand in the form of magic and that humanoid shape you've come to know. As an Alithid, I have far surpassed who I ever was before. You too should embrace this change. Like it or not, our chances of defeating the Elder Brain are substantially improved if you embrace your latent illithid potential. I've been studying you for a while now. I believe I can trigger the next stage of your tadpole's life cycle, while continuing to preserve your independence. You have seen what I can do. Imagine yourself with the same strength, the same intelligence, the same devastating beauty. <laughs> if you let me, I can evolve you. You will be able to do things you never thought were possible. There will be physical alterations, of course, but only partial. You will retain most of your current form, and you will soon see that the benefits outweigh any perceived loss. The answer is twofold. One, I can, but it would kill you. As I told you before, too. Why would I? You have done well with the limited form you have, but you would do far better as an illithid. So, do you wish to evolve or not? I don't know if we can say no and come back later, so I'm just gonna say no for right now. I understand. Let us hope then that your present self will be sufficient to deal with three gods of death and a giant magically enhanced elder brain. But in case you change your mind... Look after it. Use it when you're ready to evolve. You or your allies. It has vitality enough for you all. But we mustn't lose focus. We need to resume our journey. You heard the Chosen. The Brain has gone to the city, and the army marches to follow. We must not let them reach it. We must find the Brain, and bring it under our control. Here goes nothing. The orb hums with cerebral magic. Permeable, but impenetrable. Don't waste a step. Within it, the Githyanki prince is as silent as a corpse, but for the murmur of his powers being siphoned away. Always room for more. Two figures, one an imposing female with a regal aspect, the other a devil. His face twisted with a wry charm. Their hands meet in exchange of an artifact. The Astral Prism. So this must be Vlacketh. And someone gives her the Astral Prism to use against Orpheus. But hey buddy, you want to talk some more? Consider using the tadpole. Your evolution will be a benefit to us both. Nope, okay. Doesn't have anything else to say right now. Alright, let's head back to camp. And we'll uh, talk over this tadpole business, I guess. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else I can do here. Is it supposed to have those, like, tendrils on it like that? That's kind of weird, bro. Alright, let's, uh, let's go to sleep now for real. Oh, actually, hold up. Let's loot these nerds. Wait, why are they dead now? We didn't kill them. How did they die? 
Did they absolutely kill him somehow? There's Minthara's tent. I think that's Asterion's tent. Alright, well, let's hit the bed. Oh, that's right. Elves don't actually go to sleep. They just meditate. That's why they did that. Okay, I was confused what my, my, my other character was an elf was doing that. Okay, well, let's see. Lizelle has, wants to talk, of course. I'm sure she does. Your parasite communes with Lizelle's. Her heart races as she learns of the events inside the astral prison. Orpheus, Gith's only son. He lives. It is not the Gaith visitor that Vlakith would destroy and Vos would set free. It is Orpheus, the blood of the mother, the prince of the comet. Listen close. The Emperor spoke only in half-truths. For you to know the tale of Orpheus, you must know the tale of Gith and of Vlakith. Long ago, when we rose up against our Gaith slavers, Mother Gith made for the Hells to secure an alliance with the Archdevil Tiamat. Tiamat gifted the Gith Yankee our red dragons. Gith remained in the Hells, and Tiamat's envoy proclaimed Vlakith our ruler. The first Vlakith of many. It is Vlakith 157 whom my people now call Queen. Orpheus was, is, Gith's only son. He led his mother's own honor guard in a coup against Vlakith I. It was Kithrak Vos himself who slayed the prince in vicious battle, or so the Varshas teach us. Yet the prince of the comet's been with us, subdued by that repugnant illithid. Should Orpheus go free, he would tear Vlakith's empire to pieces and build new glory from the scraps. The seed and the sower. Every word Voss spoke, he spoke true. Orpheus is the living proof of the Queen's lies, and the living weapon that conquered our Gaith slavers. One word from his lips, and the people would doubt. Two words, and they would rage. Three words, and they would bow to the true heir. If the Githyank here to be free, the Prince of the Comet must lead the way. Yeah, I'd like to bring her along. Who are we leaving in camp? Shadowheart has been kind of carrying in some battles. There's also Astarian, who's honestly not been impressing me too much. Let's talk to Shadowheart. So, there's been a Mind Flayer inside the artifact, or Astral Prism, the whole time we've had it. Sounds like utter madness even though I've seen it with my own eyes. The more I learn, the less I understand just why I was sent to retrieve that thing. But it matters little now. I do not serve Shah anymore, nor the Mother Superior. The prism is no longer my mission. Saving my parents is, but I digress. Did you want something? Okay, let's, um, let's go talk to Minthara. She might want to use the tadpole, so we'll let her. Shadowheart looks different. A change of diet, perhaps? She changed her hair. Let's see. We will need every advantage to survive the battles that are to come. And my illicit parasite has already shown its worth. If this superior tadpole is capable of unlocking my mind's full potential, it is a tempting proposition. I am surprised you have not drawn on its power yourself. I will be unstoppable. Do we get a cutscene for this? Oh, we do? Okay. <laughs> Life pulses from within. The parasite's thoughts whisper at the edge of your mind. It wants to share itself with you. It wants to be let in. Go on. Don't be afraid. It only wants to help you evolve. A 
coldness seeps through your veins as the tadpole awakens, its yearning almost unbearable. Your mind is a veritable feast. The tadpole's essence courses through you. Where it touches, your flesh, glands, organs contract and flood with pure thought. You feel different. Your body has never felt more connected. Your mind present in every flex of a joint or muscle. Perhaps, once the others see what you can do, they will consider trying it for themselves. I've got the ready. I will bring Lazelle, but I want to use a historian's high charisma to do some shopping first. We must find where Gortash and Orin have established themselves and take their nether stones. Baldur's Gate is right over the hills. And so is Cazador. And we are no closer to knowing why that bastard is so obsessed with getting me back. I think we should track down my fellow spawn. I'm not exactly looking forward to a reunion, but perhaps they'll know something. If we can find them, we can force them to tell us what he's been doing since I was gone. And honestly, I imagine they'll be coming for me in the night if I don't. Unless Cazadors change their orders, they'll be in the dens of this town, seeking prey. We should get to them first. Then we can make their pretty tongues talk. Time to press ahead. The city is close now. My former peers will be watching, no doubt. Waiting for my return. We should do what we can to find them. What they know could help us. Excuse me, I can't find my mum. Jenna! And my cat is Grub. He's shy. I'm not. My mum is called Emery. She went to go get some herbs for her spots. She was sick, and she was supposed to come back the same day. That was last ten day, though. Wow, everybody wow. liked that, apparently. Thanks. My mum would like this. She's the best cook in the world. And she taught me too. I'll, um, I'll look for her. I think she'll probably come soon. Thanks a lot. I do not understand why the matrons, sorry, patriarchs of the city do not open their gates to the refugees. I was not suggesting they be allowed to roam free. They should be put to work. The city needs laborers and fodder to protect it. Yes. And if they work hard enough for long enough, the city might allow them to earn their freedom one day. I'll give it a shot. Welcome to Rivington. South Coast Way, North Worms Crossing. Oh, it's like I was coming to talk to me the way he's just like walking straight at me like that. The place was empty. Keep those thugs away from my family. Denuvia! Get these spotters out of my house now! Arthur, sweetheart, you paid me and my boys to be caravan guards, not cattle wranglers. If you want us to get our hands dirty, it'd be our pleasure. But that'll be extra. <laughs> this is my home! I may pride myself on my philanthropy, but I draw the line at being a halfway house. This man's indignant demeanor barely masks a seething anxiety. There's more to this situation than he's letting on. 
Zenobia and I are just navigating a slight contractual disagreement. Not that it's any of your concern. But wouldn't you be on edge if your beautiful home had been defiled by such brazen interlopers? You don't exactly look desperate for gold, but I can't help but admire such solid business acumen. Very well. Get the job done, and you'll be paid and be in my good graces. Do you think you're clever coming in and undercutting us, sweetheart? We were about to make a bit of extra cash before you butted in. You or the guild a cut. Is the little dog trying to intimidate us? If it continues to bark, I will snap its neck. The Guild, a loose coalition unifying every criminal outfit in the city under one collective rule, from cut purses to contract killers. Ooh, a 20. Here we go. I think you're overestimating your abilities somewhat. But I haven't got time for this. Come on, boys. We've got places to be. Wow, 1,000 XP. I guess that's for not needing to kill them. What's up for discussion? You see those animals are out of the picture. Can we stay now? Or are you going to turn us next? I don't want to take charity from some stranger, but I will. For the sake of my daughter, thank you. We'll get going as soon as we've got our things together. All's well that ends well, eh? I'm sure the Guild will be in touch with any concerns. At long last! Here's your payment, as we agreed. So I made 238 out of that. Not too bad. Oh, oh. that's just an ox. I thought it was the ox, but no, it's not. 